much you may hard to maintain. Like Canada's, you know, bigger. Well, okay, Canada's technically bigger by land mass, but the majority of it isn't developed, so you don't need to maintain infrastructure that doesn't exist. Most notably in the Canadian Arctic. So that's fair. Ahead, bike lane. All right. Well, not right now. The shoulder's still not bad though. makes me sad when I get past like I should I should be getting passed by someone you know he's in full like suit lightweight bike for training um, but still it never feels good to get past <laughs> catch him up yeah I can stay right on his wheel my problem is if he wanted to you know lay on the brakes for whatever reason he weighs a lot less than me, so he'll come to a stop a lot faster than me. So, unless I talk to him first, I shouldn't just ride up on his booty. But even then, I don't think I could keep up with him, even if I stayed within a foot of his rear wheel. Um, like, I'm so wide that I'll still get a lot of air resistance. I forgot how much you save. With a, with a good draft, is it like 30% less watts you need to output to keep on someone's tail if you're drafting? I think it was something like that. I could be wrong. North Carolina's destination. I, like, I currently have a flight booked out of North Carolina. There's probably only so many places you could pick, but um, I, I just figured I could hopefully make it there in the amount of time I have. I just have to be back in Canada for, for a thing. So this trip actually has a deadline. Um, so this will be a pretty short one. But next trip will include Sarah, which I'm actually really excited about. Um, as long as we can get everything sorted and source ourselves a, a bike that me and Sarah can use. Is that supposed to be our path? I don't know. Love the keys more than California. I really want to do uh, the West Coast, like Highway 101, Highway 1 on the bike. Maybe with Sarah. Although it's tough to stream because the rural section of 101 through Washington, Oregon, and especially Highway 1, like going through like what Big Sur and stuff like that, there's just like no network between towns out there. So like when I hitchhiked down there, like I'd get picked up in a town in Washington, and like as soon as we left the town, we'd lose network, and the stream would come back when we get to the next town. Where hitchhiking, that's only you know. 20, 30 minutes on the bike. That's, you know, a couple hours. And then Highway 1, like, Big Sur, is like, at times, I think like hundreds of kilometers, no real network. But I'd love to do it. trip one bike or two. Me and Sarah really want to get a tandem bike 
But we're looking at something like the brand is Pace and the model is Pinot. So I'd be in control, but I'd be in the back. And then Sarah would be right in front of me in a reclined, recumbent position with the legs out front pedaling, which I heard is a lot easier uh, for the person in front to learn rather than being the stoker at the back of a traditional tandem. Sarah hasn't done that much cycling. She, like, she knows how to ride a bike and stuff, it's fine, but she definitely seems more comfortable with me being in control rather than her being on her own bicycle. And the nice thing about that as well is her head will be like within a couple feet of mine. Like her head's close to like right in front of me. So we can communicate a lot easier. And we can both see, like actually see the person. The stoker on the back of a traditional tandem like is, well, just behind another person. Um, not like problems cost, but I don't know. I just have to bite the bullet. But they do look really cool. And they have a touring setup. A bunch of racks and stuff like that. Fully loaded with gear. I think the touring one comes with like a it's like a roll-off gear hub. Which is nice because uh, first tour, um, you can change the gear while stationary. You don't have to like spin through the gears to get them change. So you can be riding if you have to stop and you're in just the wrong gear to get started. You can just change the gear and, and go. Ah, road works. Probably the most dangerous part of cycling.